All right, greetings, great elevens. It's Mr. Shajai here, and welcome to Back to Basics. Look, what I want us to look at now, basically, I want us, uh, you know, to look at our March. This is going to be our March 2023 paper uh, from KZN, right? I think this is going to be a perfect revision uh, since we are preparing to write our March test, right? So let's just look at it and see in terms of what do, how do they, know ask these trigonometric questions so that you can be in a position to answer them right now let's start now in this case they say do not uh use the calculator to answer your question three the first thing that they want you to do they say in the diagram below you're having p your p is this particular point and it's given by x and negative nine they say the point and cut it in place such that op so now op basically it's this line let me just write this a uh, op uh, it's uh, it's going to what your op is going to be your what your 15 units oh, okay so they are saying your op is going to be your 15 units now lies uh on what uh on s then you're having s which is negative two and c right now they say r is a point on a positive x value of r o r p which is your theta once again, now the first question is, they want us to determine what the value of our x. Remember here, now if you can say, let's say you are plotting this, let's say we plot our diagram. Now can you see our triangle rather, which is going to a right angle triangle. Now can you see that uh, you already have your value of your what? You already have your value of your y, which means here it's negative 9. And now the only thing that you need is basically your value of your x because your hypotenuse side it is what? It is 15 units. And now that you have those, you are going to do what? You are going to use your theorem of Pythagoras. The theorem of Pythagoras is R squared is equals to X squared plus your Y squared. Then you provide salutations. This is pi theorem, right? This is pi theorem. And then now, after that, what is it? What is going to be your R? Now you can make your X to be the subject of the formula, right? So basically, which means your x squared is going to be, what is the value of your r? It's going to be 15. Uh, it's going to be 15 squared uh, minus what is going to be this, uh, your y, it's going to be negative 9 squared, right? So which means the value of your x here, when you are going to solve this, can you see that uh, here, this is going to be same as what? Your 144, right? Your x squared is going to be 144. Then now when you look for the square root of both sides, then the value of your x here is going to be plus minus what? Plus minus 12. Once again, but now one thing that I want you to take note of, this is plus minus 12. So since this is plus minus 12, what is it that you, you can take note of? You know that this side of uh, your x is same as what? Uh, it's negative, right? This side of your x is negative and this side of your x is positive. So, which means the correct value of your x that you are going to take here, it's going to be negative 1. It's going to be negative 12. Once again, which means here, basically, your x is going to be what? Your negative 12. Once again, now, and then the next question is, they want you to determine now uh, your 3.1.2. Uh, they want you to determine your theta, right? Uh, now, what is it that you are going to have? They want you to have now your tan of theta. What is going to be your tan of theta? Remember, tan in terms of x, y, and r. Your tan of theta is basically given by what? By y over r, which means that whenever you have your tan of theta, this is significantly same as what is your y? It's same as your negative 9. And what is your r? Uh, your, uh, it's y over x. Look at me. This is y over x, which is negative what? Negative 12. Oh, it's okay. So basically, that is going to be that. And which means now when you solve this, this is actually st still the same as what? Is your 3 over 4. Oh, it's okay. So basically, now that is going to be that. Now, uh, the next question is: They want you to determine what they want you to determine what is going to be what uh, what is going to be your uh your what uh, what is going to be your value of your c? How can you use your value of your c? Right. Uh, now, one thing that I want you to take note of: Let's just uh let's just erase here so that you can have enough space to do this question of c. Right. Let's just erase here. Now. Uh, in this particular point C, can you see where is your point C? Basically, your C is here, which means your C represents the Y coordinates of what? Your Y coordinates of your what? And uh, your Y coordinates of your this, uh, of your uh, of your point S, which is this one. This is given by point C, right? Now, what is it that I want you to take note? Uh, can you see that your point, 
if you let's say you wanted to do uh you what uh if you're using your ratio here can you see that if let's say you are using this small triangle let me just try and write it here this small triangle that is consists of a c right and uh, this small triangle that consists of a c remember this point here it's given by s which is what which is negative two and this is c now one thing that i want you to take note of now can you see that if you can use the same ratio here now, since this is your theta here, if you can use your turn of theta, can you see that if you can use your turn of theta? Because your turn of theta is what? It is going to be your opposite over what? Uh, your turn of theta is taller, which means it's opposite over what? Over your adjacent. Your turn of theta here. Your turn of theta here is going to be given what? It's going to be given by turn of what is the opposite side of this one? Uh, of, your, uh, of your C. Now, your opposite of your C, this can be what? Uh, remember this represent your y which means your y is here uh in, in this case your your c is going to be here and here you are going to have what here you are going to have your negative two how to get i'm just representing this small triangle here i'm just re representing it in there right so which means can you see that this is same as what this is going to be same as your value of your y is what is c and your value of your what of your x is negative two but now can you see that the turn of theta and uh, which is the turn of theta for this Molagnana triangle, which is the blue triangle. It's almost the same as the what as the turn of theta with with the what with the bigger triangle. So therefore, basically, which means now you can just conclude that your turn of the uh, of C or of theta here was what? Your turn of theta here was given by three over four. Which means basically here, it's same as what? Uh, it's same as your turn of theta for the bigger triangle, which is three over four. And the other one, let's just say we let's say we said this was our first equation. The other one, you are having your turn of theta, which is equal to c over negative two. Since both of them are equal to your turn of theta, you can literally just say this is same as three over four is equal to c over what over negative two. Can you see that? Right. So which means from here you can just cross multiply and find out what is going to be your c. So your c is going to you are going to have four c is equal to what? Uh, your four c is going to be equal to this is going to be negative six. How to get so which means from here you divide by four, you divide by four, which means the value of your c is going to be same as negative three over what over two. How to get so basically this is how you are going to do your value of your c. Hopefully, this one uh makes sense to you. Now uh, let's now we move swiftly along and uh you know uh do to our 3.1. Let's do our 3.2.1. Now, in this one, uh here they want us to solve, right? And without use of a calculator to determine the value of the following expression, right? So here, the first one, you are given that you're having sine of 180 degrees, subtract your x. Uh, then the, the other one now, what's, what you are having now here, it's going to be your cos of uh, 90 degrees plus your x. This is going to be same as plus your, plus your sine of your 360 degrees uh, minus x. Look, now what is this going to be? First thing, when you say uh 180 degrees subtract x, 180 degree uh degrees is here. When you say subtract x, which means this is in your second quadrant, right? So which means this is same as what is your sign in your second quadrant positive. So which means this is going to be positive sign of x. Now, cos of 100 uh, uh cos of 90 degrees plus x is in your what is again in your second quadrant. When you say 90 plus, this is going to give you what now. This is going to be in your second quadrant. And how is your cos in your second quadrant? Is negative. So this is same as negative what? Negative sine of what? Negative sine of x. Remember, when you're having cos of uh, 90 degrees plus x changes to your sign. Same as when you're having sine of 90 degrees cos, uh, 90 degrees plus x is going to change to what? Your cos. Now let's look at this one. When you say 360, remember 360 is your revolution, right? Minus theta or minus x is going to be in your fourth quadrant, right? And now, how is your sign in that particular quadrant is negative? So which means this is the same as negative uh, sine of x. Now, what is it that you're having here? Negative and negative is positive, which means basically you're having sine x divided by what? This is the same as sine x over uh, what? Sine x. I want to write it this way so that you see that this negative, this sine x and this sine x are going to cancel each other, right? How to get and now from here, uh, what is it that you are going to have here? And now from here, uh, what is it that you are going to have? Remember, this was what? 
Uh, oh, remember here you are having a positive sign. Sorry, this is not a multiplication sign, but this is a positive sign. So which means this basically changes everything. So now, which means now, if this is our positive sign, yes, this was a positive sign. So which means this is basically same as sign of X. This is same as negative sign X and negative sign X, which is so same as negative what? Negative two sign X. How to get? Then here your sign X and your sign X are going to cancel each other. You are going to left with negative one over two. How to get? Yes, which is the answer that you are going to have. Yes. Hopefully now you see, right? Now next, uh, next one. What is it that you are having here? So let's just make up our space here so that we can uh, do our what? Our 3.2.2. Uh, now, uh, let's do the last one. I want us to attempt this particular question, this one. Now, here, what is it that you're given? You are given that you are having cos of 295 multiplied by cos of 752 uh, degrees, right? Now, this is divided by what? This is divided by uh, your sine of, this is going to be sine of uh. 238 degrees right 238 degrees and then this is going to multiply by cos of 65 degrees now the first thing that we do in these types of question is firstly we look for the relation right we look uh for the relation uh between what uh, between this angle for an example what is going to be your cos of 295 Cos of 295 basically is same as what? This is actually same as cos of what? This is same as 360 degrees. Subtract your what? Subtract your 65 degrees. I would get. And now this is same as multiply by your cos of uh, 752. Your cos of 752 basically it is given by what? Uh, this one here it is given by when you say, uh, for example, when you come here, uh, remember that your... When you start from here, this is 360 degrees, which is the first revolution. And the second revolution is given by what? Is given by 720 degrees. I would get. So which means now 710, uh, this uh, 752 basically is what? Uh, this is going to be same as what? Uh, this is same as your 720 plus your what? Plus your 62. Uh, to get, or rather plus your 38 rather right so this is actually same as your cos of 38 degrees uh, to get, uh, or rather this is your cos of uh this is going to be not 38 but rather 32 degrees yes this is going to be your 32 degrees right uh, now uh then now from here what is it that you are going to do from here uh now when you continue from here uh what is it that you're going to have now you're going to come to your denominator in your denominator here, you are having your sine of 2, 3, uh, 8. What is that? Basically, this one is same as your sine of what? This is same as your sine of 180 degrees. Uh, this is 180 degrees plus what? This is 180 degrees plus your 58. How to get? This is 180 degrees plus 58. Uh, this is plus 58 degrees. And then now what is going to happen here? Right? Uh, now... Uh, from here, uh, from here, what is it that you're going to have here? You're having your cos of 65 degrees. And then from here, then you're going to say, what is cos of, six, uh, of 360 subtract 65? Now, this cos uh, is going to be in your first quadrant, right? Uh, this is going to be in your first quadrant. So if this is in your first quadrant, what is this going to be then, therefore? Right? Uh, now, and then from here, this is actually going to be same as what? Now, this is going to be your cos of what? This is going to be your cos of 65 degrees. Uh, then this is same as your cos of what? Now, this is going to be your cos of uh, 32 degrees. And now, this is cos of 32 degrees. And what else are you going to have from here? Uh, from here, you're going to now come back and divide. Now, sine of... A 58 degrees. This is actually the same as negative sine. Remember, of course, 180 plus is in your third quadrant. So sine is negative there. So this is sine of actually 58 degrees, right? This is going to multiply by cos of what? Cos of 65 degrees. And now from here, what is going to happen? This cos of 65 and this cos of 65 is going to cancel each other, right? So what is it that you're left with? You're left with cos of 32 degrees over your what? Over your sine of 
58 degrees. Then now from here, look, your cos of 32 degrees, remember this is actually same as what? If you can say cos of 90 degrees subtract 58, what is this going to be? Now, this is still one and the same thing. How to get? And now, this is still one and the same thing. So, which means basically now from here, what will happen? This is going to be your negative sign. Remember, this is negative sign of 58. Uh, this is negative sine uh, 58, right? So this is going to be sine uh, of 58 degrees. Then from here, look. Now, what is it that you're going to have? Now, cos of 90 degrees subtract theta. That's going to be what? That's going to be your, uh, your, uh, this is going to be your, what? Your interchangeable angle for what? For sine. So basically it means this is the same as what? This is going to be your sine of your 58 degrees, right? And this is going to be divided by, also your sign of 58 degrees. And now that these two are the same, your answer that you're going to have is just going to be negative one. How to get, right? So basically this is how we uh, we use this particular question. Hopefully this makes sense to you now and you are in a position to solve this question. Thank you very much.